Wendy, this is the beginning of some answers for that family. As for Dorville police, they say that once they got word that that 22 year old suspect uh, was facing felony charges, they are now calling him a former officer and also officers here saying that they are cooperating fully with Gwinnett County investigators. Concealing the death of another and reporting a more false crime. 22 year old Miles Bryant started the day as an officer with Doraville Police. Now he's behind bars, off the job, and linked to the disappearance of a dead teen. Susanna Morales' family got a call from investigators just hours after laying her to rest Monday. I was shocked. I had to process it for a second. I was just like, what? Uh, I explained why it took so long for us to have an answer. It's a police officer. I'm guessing they know how to cover their tracks. It's been a week since Susanna's remains were found in the woods and just over six months since the 16 year old vanished in late July while walking home. There are still many questions to be answered, including what happened to Susanna. The cause of death has still not been determined. That'll be determined by the Equinay County Medical Examiner's Office. And how and if she knew Miles Bryant. At this time, um, there is no relationship believed to be between Mr. Miles and Susanna. Are you looking for other people? At this time, uh, we're still exploring all avenues and any additional information we urge our citizens and our public to please contact our detectives. For now, it's something more than Susanna's family has had in months. Now we know, we know something. We're just hoping everything, everything's gonna come into light soon. We'll finally have the closure and justice that she deserves. And we know that Miles Bryant has been with Doraville Police since 2021. And before that, he was a jailer in Forsyth County. He is expected to make his first appearance before a judge tomorrow morning at 8. Live here in Doraville, I'm Candace McCowan for Channel 2 Action News WSB Tonight. All right, Candace, and to think that it all happened on the day they laid her to rest. Quite something. Thank you.